Oh, look at that face. This is not a, this is not a happy face. So I will try and cheer myself up. I'm going to read the mum. I don't. It, I know it looks like a Janet and John book. They're like kids books in England, and it's a new series out. Um, it's by Ladybird, and it's when we were kids, we used to have lots of books like this to help you to start reading when you're like four. I don't know something like that. Let me just open a page. Hang on, you have to bear with me. My coordinates aren't very good at the minute. Okay. This is a mum. A mum has two very important jobs to do. One is to look after her children and the other is to do everything else. I don't know if you can see that. We have pictures too. I know I've come out in all spots because I'm not very well. Because I'm angry. I'm going to go green in a minute because the Hulk is coming out. Being a new mum is full of wonder. Sally wonders if her left shoulder will ever stop feel smelling of sick. <laughs> Gemma is having a little brother or sister for Shannon. Gemma looks at all of Shannon's old baby things and laughs. It seems so long ago that she's forgotten everything about babies. Hmm... This may be why she's having another one. I don't know if it's going to take me a long time to read all this. This isn't very funny at the minute. The others are hysterical. The mum gets lots of help from her little ones. Daisy is helping to move the laundry basket away from her mum. She's done this 14 times in the last five minutes. <laughs> I hope you can actually see the pictures and I'm not just holding it up randomly. Eleanor and Simon have booked their first ever babysitter. They have a whole night to themselves. They go to a restaurant and talk about whether the babysitter can cope with everything that goes wrong. The babysitter will be slightly annoyed when Simon and Eleanor come home at nine o'clock. <laughs> it's very true. <laughs> Liz promised Oliver that he could have some Tang Fantastics as he stopped screaming at the supermarket. She was so embarrassed that she left before buying any real food. Liz tells, tells herself that if she puts the Tang Fantastics on a plate with enough ketchup, they probably count as a vegetable. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a really stupid sense of humour. I was actually reading this in the middle of W.H. Smith's and I was almost wetting myself because some of them were really funny. The mum has sensitive ears which respond to frequency of her child's voice. The mum does not like hearing her own voice. That's because it does not sound like her voice anymore. It sounds more like her mother's. <laughs> See, I should really stop this just to double check that it's looking all right, but I can't be bothered. Bella has made a den out of the clothes era. Bella's mum does not need the clothes era. She's been too busy doing things for Bella to wash any clothes. Bella's mum wonders what the record is for the number of days someone has worn the same bra. <laughs> uh, the mum is good at making things from whatever is lying around. Kathy made this dolly from the corks on six bottles of Pinot Grigo that were lying around. One of the things that is now lying around her house. <laughs> I don't drink, I'm teetotal, so that don't happen here. Maybe I should stay cake, take up drinking, I think that might help. Now Lindsay's little boy is at the nursery and she's looking for a... And, now Lindsay's little boy is at the nursery. Oh, she is looking for a job. At this interview, the lady asks Lindsay all sorts of questions, which Lindsay has trouble answering because she's the octonauts theme going round her head. Lindsay hopes she's not singing it out aloud. <laughs> <laughs> 
if you've bought this book and you haven't read it yet, I'm really sorry. Alice is a successful biochemist and she publishes at least one highly regarded academic paper every single year. And she has won the Colworth Medal. At the school gate, nobody knows this. Alice doesn't even have a name. Everybody just calls her Olivia's mum. Olivia hasn't done anything yet. <laughs> Oh, this is what, Women's International Day, so this is quite good for this. Heather hoped she might like her mum in in one of the fairy tales she read as a little girl. No. Heather hoped she might be like one, like, oh, fuck. It doesn't say that. Heather, mind you, it might. Heather hoped she might be like the mum in one of the fairy tales she read as a little girl. But she's not very good at being gentle and kind. <laughs> she's wary and waspish and resentful like her own wicked old stepmother. <laughs> Still, she did get one thing right. Everything in the home is covered in porridge. <laughs> I can't read much more because my arms hurting. <laughs> my brain's going to stop in a minute everywhere. Uh, mums are everywhere. Oh, weird. In 1974, Abby was born. No, it doesn't say that. But it does say in 1974. The Soviet Space Agency landed a robot mum on the moon. Mama was designed to collect dust from the moon's surface using a reinforced silicon hanky and distilled spit. <laughs> Lily's mum says waiting for things makes them better. She says Lily can have a toy car if she waits for Christmas. Lily doesn't mind. She's spending this weekend with her dad. She'll get the car then. On Sunday nights, Lily learns all sorts of interesting new words from her mother. <laughs> The mum always carries a handbag and lots of important supplies are in there and it weighs it down as much as a microwave oven full of shoes. Fran has a reoccurring nightmare in which the handbag police caution her for not having enough wet wipes or emergency bananas. That's not that funny. I can read you another book because they're funnier. I might put this in my B. I want to say BDSM, but I don't mean that. ASMR videos or A R S M something. Even though I should, I'm not. I'm not doing that. But it's of that sort of thing. Louise's cup of tea is go getting cold, and there are six other cold cups of tea on the surfaces all around the house. When the vacuuming is done, Louise hopes she's going to be able to get them and throw them away. <laughs> I don't know, I think I've drunk my coffee. I can't remember. If I can remember anything. Rodney doesn't know. Rodney, you're not listening to the story, Rodney. No, Rodney can't be bothered. Julie said her children could have some pets if they promised to feed and look after them. Oh, see, that was weird, though. I just showed you Rodney, and it's just come up about pets. She's been too busy chasing Fluffy and Minecraft, the lizards around the garden, to get anything for supper. Lizard probably tastes a bit like chicken, thinks Julie. <laughs> <laughs> Minecraft, I quite like that. I'm just going to skip a few pages now. Don't forget your scarf, Scott, says his mum. Scott hasn't forgotten his scarf for years and years and years. Scott is 46. <laughs> oh, see, my mum still tells me to put my coat on. Lisa has been shopping and she's had a long list of things to buy, but now she thinks she may have forgotten something. Lisa is right. She has forgotten her daughter. She's left her playing on an iPad in Argos about an hour ago. <laughs> Her daughter will still be there. It's okay. She likes the iPad because it's not too busy to play with her. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
A young kangaroo lives with its mum until it's strong enough to leave. Unlike a human child, it does not move back in shortly afterwards and stay for years and years. <laughs> oh, ten minutes. I'm sorry. It's nearly finished. You've probably all switched off anyway. Philippa is cycling to work. She's already been awake for four hours because her two-year-old thinks wake-up time is at half past three a.m., other mums at work will have lots of reassuring stories about how their children sleep through and have to be woken for school. Luckily, Philippa is too tired to kill the other mums. <laughs> this is so I like that bit. I was finished. You see, that is a good book. You don't have to buy it now because it's bloody over expensive. Like five ninety nine. I think that's very expensive for that book. But it's very funny and it does make me laugh. So I hope it made you laugh too. Um, so it should be Mother's Day today, but it's not. But it should be. Oh, it's International Women's Day, so that's why. That's good. Happy International Women's Day. <laughs>